What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Libby. It's so nice to have you. Today I have another week of workouts for you guys. This is my fifth week of workouts and I absolutely love creating these videos for you guys. So rewarding just because I get to read the coolest messages and also the coolest comments in response to these videos and I didn't think that they would do as well as they have, but it's really cool to just be able to show you guys how I work out and what I look like in the gym. Somehow knowing that that inspires and motivates you guys really makes me happy to create these. With this video, I'm taking you guys through a four day workout split. My workout split right now is that my first day is my glutes and ham. My second day is shoulders and triceps. Third day is quads and calves. And my fourth day is back and biceps. If I do a fifth day, it's very back and forth depending on my schedule and everything. I will do either a full body day or an extra rest day. I did a little bit of an active rest day this week. Make sure that you guys are giving yourself time to rest. That's when we build muscle. That's when we recover. It's very important. I was in the middle of a move with this and I just want you guys to know that reality of life sets in and sometimes we can't control how often we can get to the gym i think it's important just to make that effort to get there if you can't get there that's totally okay we have an entire life to live and i think that fitness should be a part of our lifestyle it shouldn't be our entire life I genuinely enjoy moving my body and i have such a good time in the gym this video is a little bit sentimental for me because it is my last week of workouts at my previous gym in kansas it's really cool that i get to now take you guys along with me to a new gym i just love sharing my workouts with you guys so don't think of me as a personal trainer or anything like that that is my disclaimer i'm your friend from a distance that you're working out with. I'll share a little bit of some details with you guys along the way, but I'm going to walk you guys through the workout as I do it as well. I will have it in the description box below. I just hope that these videos, one, serve as motivation or inspiration for you guys. I hope that I can be your buddy in the gym. And lastly, I hope that you guys can get some sense of reality and authenticity from my videos because not every single person that you see online looks as great as they do in what they post. And I just love to give you guys a sense of reality in the gym because we don't always look amazing. We don't always look posed and flexed. I think that that goes without saying, but I hope that this serves as something motivational or inspirational for you guys along your fitness journey. That being said, I do have four other week of workouts. So an entire month, if you wanted to work out with me, if you need a little bit of guidance or you just want a friend there with you, I've got you. I guess from now on, we will be having a different setup for our week of workouts, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. And a big thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. You guys, I am so excited to welcome you back to a new week of workouts. This is a four day split because life was pretty busy. So I think in this video, I'm going to update you guys just a bit. Of course, I'm also going to walk you guys through everything. I can't believe that I'm saying this as much as you guys probably can't believe that you're hearing this, but this is my last week of workouts at my lifetime at my home gym in Kansas because as you guys know, I moved to Houston, Texas. But we got a good little week of workouts in before I left. My last month there was so chaotic, but I went ahead and started my first day of this week of workouts with a nice gluten hamstring day. I began with three by eight back squats, but I did more of a glute bias back squat and especially with my body mechanics I just have more of a hinge in my squats it's gonna look different for everybody started with a nice little warm-up set to make sure that I had my form down and I feel like throughout this week of workouts you guys will realize that I am in the workouts but I'm also not so much in there mentally if that makes sense and honestly that's just life sometimes the things that are going on in your life do impact the way that you operate day to day especially when you're going to the gym and those type of things my entire move was really weighing on me during this time and you'll probably notice that here right and here I I am setting up for some RDLs. You guys already know this is my favorite exercise on planet earth. I will do RDLs to the day I die. I just love the hinge. I love the burn. I love every single thing about it. Typically when you guys see me, I am usually pushing my weight and I talk about progressive overload, but with this, because I was in and out of the gym so often, I was kind of a little bit more lenient with the weight that I was using and using a lot more warm up set weight. All right. And then once we finish up our four by eight RDLs, we're going to head over to the nice little leg press, the dreaded leg press, if you will. I'm going to be doing some gluten hamstring bias leg presses here so we're gonna do four by 12 wide stance presses okay and then i always get questions on my outfits for my week of workouts i always am wearing gymshark so you guys can always shop the first link in my description box below this outfit specifically is the new elevate i love this collection it is so luxe it is so soft and smooth and it really forms to your body but i am obsessed with this color right and then this is where i contemplate life and you know when you just have to stare off for a second that's me right there, okay? It was time for me to get up and then I had to take a little phone break. Do not lie. I know that you guys are taking those phone breaks. I do the same, especially when you take that little rest between your sets and you're like, okay, I have to launch my phone. It's time to get back in the game. That's me. Before we finish this workout, let's have a word from our sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service and you get to choose new designer fragrances to try out every single month just for $17 with no surprises. Super flexible so you can skip any month without penalties and you can also upgrade to receive two to three products per month. I love the fact that these 
these are so travel size friendly and the vials are actually eight times bigger than typical perfume samples. I love the size of these Scentbird vials because they're great for trying out new fragrances. You can pop them into your gym bag, your handbag. I love to keep a couple in my gym bag just because I like to smell fresh after the gym. I like to wear scents that make me feel warm and cozy, but then I also love fresh scents and I love the fact that there's such a variety to choose from, whether you like the more male ones, female ones, or unisex. After taking Scentbird's quiz, I learned a lot more about my personal scent style and I love the fact that they have that tool on their website, but the scents that I got are Lash by Rebecca Minkoff, which is a floral scent with a little bit of a powder to it. This is what I wore today and I loved it. French Pear and Queen's Lilac by Michelle Germain. And oh my goodness, I love this one. It's fruity, it's smooth, and it's rich. And I think that this is probably one of my favorite scents. Florgasm by Heretic is probably my other top favorite. I also got Skylar's Vanilla Sky, which is a warm, toasty scent. All smell amazing. And from November 20th to December 5th, Semper is offering 60% off using the link in my description. After December 5th, you guys can still use my coupon code Libby for 55% off. Thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. All right, prepare yourselves because our next exercise is going to be single leg hip thrusts. I use a dumbbell for this and we're doing a three by 10 on each leg. It's going to roast and toast you. Hopefully it doesn't ghost you. I'm actually mortified that I said that, but it actually... It gave me some Drake vibes, I'm not even gonna lie, but these single leg hip thrusts, girl, if you don't do them, I, please add them into your routine because they actually do demolish you and it's like a sneak attack because you're like, oh, I'm just doing a regular hip thrust. It's not that crazy. Oh, but it is. So after you've made it out of the trenches with the single leg hip thrust, I'm really struggling over here. We're gonna move on to some double contraction sumo squats. I used either a dumbbell or kettlebell for this and we're gonna go ahead and do three by 12. Make sure you're hitting that depth. Make sure you're feeling that contraction because adding that double contraction into almost any exercise is really going to bring on the burn. I'm just gonna have to break the news to you guys. Every single week of workouts that you guys have seen, I have done and I filmed straight. Every single day was consecutive, but this time around, I did take little days and breaks in between because this was filmed in the month of October. That was our moving month. We were packing up our house and I also had trips to go on, but I still wanted to make it to the gym. So I was sharing all of my workouts that I did do with you guys here. So if you feel like you saw these outfits, but they were split up on my other social media, that is why. Although I did still go to the gym and I did do all of my workouts this wasn't a consecutive one two three four five days a week type of split but i did get there regardless and i think that's the important part now, let's be so freaking for real right now not every single day is perfect and i don't know why this did not want to focus on me but you guys know that we do a nice little dynamic warm-up at the start of our workouts and we do a nice static one or a static cool down at the end i've told you guys time and time again what static dynamic warm-ups and cool downs are they're so important and honestly they're pretty fun i like to do a little theragun a little foam roll and a little stretch at the end of my workouts it really helps me to wrap it all up ladies and gentlemen it is time for day two Okay, a good little shoulders and triceps workout. This has been my split for such a long time, you guys, and I think going into a brand new gym, I am excited to try some new stuff out. As always, we've got to warm up this body. I love my warm ups for upper body day. I love lower body, but something about upper body just hits differently. I always use my resistance band and I love to use a PVC pipe to warm up as well. We are going to be priming and prepping those shoulders. I love to do a little rotator cuff moment with a weight and we do a little 90 degree turn. I have that in a lot of my other week of workouts videos, so definitely check those out. Listen, we're still warming up. The pump cover hasn't even come off. This is a nice little warm up set. We're gonna do some push presses, some overhead presses, if you will. We will be doing three by eight of these and we're going to be super setting. Yes, we're jumping straight into it. So the pump cover comes off and we're gonna do some upright rows with that same weight there. I just feel like it's in my character to wear some type of halter top on my upper body days because if the back is on display, it's just a great workout. Now this outfit, I'm loving it. It is a brand new color of the Vital Seamless. And yes, I did cut this Roosh training bra into a little halter. We love her though, okay? She's stunning. This is, I think the coconut white color if I'm not mistaken. And you guys, if you are watching this when this video comes out, then you should know that Gymshark is having their Black Friday sale up to 60% off of every single thing in the North American stores. Insanity. We did that super set and we did three by eight of both the upright rows and the overhead presses. Now it's crazy, I know, but Libby's doing a little bit of chest, but she's really just doing some incline presses. This is so unlike me, but I get yelled at by you guys asking, why don't you do chest? The answer is that it doesn't excite me. I'm sorry, look at this yawn, okay? It's intense out here. 
please drop a comment if seeing me yawn made you yawn because editing this i'm yawning so much but we did three by eight of these inclined shoulder presses as well honestly you guys these are 30s but i have gone up to 35s and i'm pretty sure i tried 40s one time and i was like whoa girl you're getting a little ahead of yourself but we're gonna move on to our lateral raises i absolutely love to do a nice lateral raise drop set i start with either like a 20 or 15 and then i kind of work myself down with the weight increments I know you guys have probably heard of 21s before. I kind of do my own spin on this. So I do seven, seven, and seven, and that's one set. I'm doing three sets and moving on. I was getting a little bit, I don't know, a little experimental because I did three sets of 10 rear delt flies on this little incline bench. I don't know who she is, you guys, but I did try it out and it did take me out. And then a huge staple in my shoulders and tricep days are going to be some tricep dips. I did four by AMRAP, so as many reps as possible. I was not doing well, y'all. Thankfully, that was my last exercise and then it was time for me to go hit the little foam roll you guys i love a good foam roll i talk about this in every single video but you know the warm-up you know the cool down do some foam rolling it makes you feel great and you know the pop snap crackle pop of your back when you're doing this it's just euphoric don't sleep on it right? but to be real i really do love doing some foam rolling because it just relieves so much tension in your muscles especially for me this week i was really like okay listen my body is shutting down on me i have too much going on i was carrying stress in my body and i could feel it leaving my body as i was foam rolling you guys it was quite interesting also foam rolling the day before a quads and calves day really set me up for success so let's get into this leg day you guys know that i show you the warm-up some days the cool downs other days i had already done my warm-up in this and i was getting ready for some more back squats now with this i had more of a narrow stance but girl <gasps> the quads were already on fire now, please try to tell me that this outfit is not fire as well she is flamo are you kidding me this is the new vital seamless color too now ever since i announced that i was moving i've received countless comments about mr ed and you guys i love that man with my heart and soul he is such a gem and i swear he made every single time that i went to the gym just incredible just his aura his spirit his soul i can't even explain how hard it is to leave something like that and I just had such a cool relationship with him. He was my gym grandpa. I love him so much. I do still have a playlist on my TikTok of all of my gym encounters with him though. I have those up so we can all revisit them and just share some smiles and memories. I do hope that I make some new friends though at my new gym, but let's just get back into this workout. I'm gonna get all sentimental about Mr. Ed. Okay, I love that man. And after we finish our warm up, we're gonna go into this workout by doing three by 10 back squats. I do not know why I was in a squatting mood. You guys, you know, that's not like me. It's very interesting very unlike me out of my character and next up you know i had to go stack my plates because i was gonna do some step ups i did four by 12 and honestly with step ups i always change the height of where i'm stepping to but as long as you're feeling it i feel like it's okay you can see here that i wasn't using my max weight for all of these things i was really focusing on form and just taking time with all of my movements and that's something that i want you guys to prioritize take your time focus on your form you're going to need that gulp of water because we're gonna hop into some bulgarians i'm sorry i just want to apologize formally ahead of time i know you're gonna hate me i hated me too I understand. On these, we're going to be doing three by eight on each leg. Take your time, okay? I don't know how you guys get into your Bulgarians, but I'm very specific about the way that I get into mine, and I swear it's undefeated. Okay, and after we leave our soul on the gym floor, because of those Bulgarians, we're gonna move into some narrow stance leg presses. I do a little bit of a lower stance as well with this to really target those quads. Okay, I need you guys to peep the shoulder because the mind to muscle connection was immense. It was insanity, but we're going to do three by 10 of these. I added a little bit of weight because I was like, you know what? Who am I? I'm Libby Christensen. Thank you. After we finish this charade and have a little bit of a breakdown, we wipe our equipment off. Always. Thank you. And then we're going to move into some calf raises. That's what I always end my quad days with. Now, nothing too crazy. A cool little three by 20. Yes, I said 20. You've got to go slow and steady with these and then you'll really 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 feel it everybody says i don't have big calves i swear to you i have calves i'm just a long person and i will fight to the death on this oh my gosh congratulations before you know it the workout is over babes now it's time to foam roll you know i'm a foam roller i love it i live for it i am an advocate once i'm done 
making love to the foam roller. I'm gonna just finish up with my little static stretches, staying in place, holding those little stretches and stay in that position for like 20 to 30 seconds. We're gonna end off this workout. Yay! Applause, applause, she lives for it. We're gonna hop into our last day of this week of workouts, which is back day, baby. I don't know about you, sister, but a girl was tired. This week really did take me out. I had so much stuff going on, but I'm proud of myself for making it to the gym throughout this month as much as I could. Although I didn't film an entire fifth day for you guys, I actually was a little active. I did an active rest day. You guys know I either do a full body day or a extra rest day on my last day of the week. And that's what I did. I just didn't film it. But we're gonna do our typical little warm up. You guys know how it is. I know that you guys are veterans to this stuff at this point. If you've seen any of my other videos, same show, baby, but we're gonna do some pull-ups. Of course, I did start this back in biceps day with three sets of AMRAP pull-ups, as many reps as possible. Pump them out, you know, do a little dead hang if you must, spin a little if you have to. You guys, I'm getting emotional and a little bit sentimental because watching this footage back and I don't even live in Kansas anymore, it kind of like pulls at my heartstrings, but it's okay. We're gonna go into our conventional deadlifts, three by 10 of these babies. I really could get in my feels and make an entire montage of all of the time that I spent at the gym. You can see all the SD cards that I have full of footage, but I will spare you all of that heartache. The halter top is out to play. If my upper body is going to be worked, it will be on display. I am getting ready to do some pinned lay rows here, you guys know. I prefer pent lay over bent over rows. I don't know, is that controversial? Tell me what you guys like more. No, you can never go wrong with a staple black outfit. This is the V-neck training bra that I cut and then the adapt animal shorts, Mwah, chef's kiss. You didn't think I would leave you hanging without doing some single arm dumbbell rows, I hope. So we're gonna do three by 10 of these. You guys, I can't believe this was my last time doing these at this gym. I am excited because my new gym, she is that girl, you guys. She really is that girl. And after our rows, we're going to end this workout by doing three by 10 hammer curls, a nice little bicep pump to end it all off. You guys, I feel like this is like the end of a show. Like I'm ending a TV series. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, thanks for hanging out with me here, guys. It's been amazing. And just like that, we finished our fifth week of workouts. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I always say, I hope that this serves as inspiration or motivation for you guys when you're working out. If you are starting your fitness journey, I hope that it's helpful to know a little bit of some tips and tricks or some helpful hint. And I hope that this can make you feel a little bit more comfortable in the gym if you are new to it. If you guys did enjoy it, please let me know by liking this video, giving it a thumbs up. You guys can also subscribe so you never miss a video with me. And be sure that you guys keep up with me every single day on Instagram and TikTok at Libby Christensen and I will talk to you guys later.